Now this certainly is a rare sight. All of my vacuums are lined up. This one's my dad, but I use it because I pretty much take care of anything that involves vacuuming around the house. So, yeah, this is for cleaning out our pellet grill. So, I do have a couple new Kirby's. Now, you may recognize this Kirby. Like, <gasps> that's abused Kirby. I have news. That's mine now. Abused Kirby is currently under my ownership. Because I gave the owner my other G5. Not the OG5. Which is this one. The very first vacuum I ever got of my own that was of decent quality. So, um, this is in order um, of all of my vacuums. You've seen the Sanitaire, you've seen the Avalier 2, you have not seen my new Sentry I got today. It costed me so much, it costed me as much as though it was like brand new. Like $2,000. I'm purely lying there. I seriously got it for 100 bucks. Pre-refurbished, because... Why not? But, so, all of the vacuums that are from the Kirby repair shop, let's go. One. The one, the other one's um, at Lisa, so I'll count this one instead, even though it isn't. Two. Three. Four. Four of all of them are from the repair shop. A used G5 is not the actual G5 I got from there. So... Now, the further ahead the vacuum is, the worse quality it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag them forward. And the further ahead they are, um, the worse the rating is. I have them roughly lined up with age. That's not exactly right. So, first, let's rate this vacuum. So... Since it has to go through two 90 degree bends, or a 45 degree bend and 90 degree bend, before it gets to the bag, that's a big con, decreasing airflow and increasing brush roll speed. But because of that increased brush roll speed due to less airflow, that means it rips up carpets more and the brush wears out faster. Plus it has a space for light and doesn't have one. It does have the Pro. I'm going to be individually listing out each and every single bad thing with each vacuum. So, this one, it does have a nice, nice levers to let it go down. And nice levers to lower and, to raise and lower the head. So, for that, it's mainly it's decreased performance and short cord. It goes the furthest ahead. Now, let's write this guy. So, um, I should probably set up a rough line for the furthest ahead a vacuum can go. So this, um, let's say right here. Now with that said, it goes there. It's a good vacuum. It's got high airflow, but it tears up carpeting when the brushes and when the brushes wear the brush wears out fast. The motor has ungreasable bearings, so it's kind of there. Now this one, height adjuster, wears out fast, so it ends up doing this. No good. Plus small area. On and off switch is indented, even though it works effectively. Bad brush will take out design. Um. Very convenient to disassemble and take the bag off. Easy to clean the bag, but not as easy as that one. This one actually has a headlight. The brush roll stays consistently high quality and consistently runs. The bag is thin, yet still has good filtration. So it goes roughly there. Now, if any Kirby stays in this, if any vacuum, I keep thinking I only own Kirby's. Stays in this line. That means they're probably the best of the best. Or if they move backwards, they're the best of the best. Now, 
for this bad boy. A lot of similar features to that one, except it's got a easier to remove bag because it's made of plastic, the bag. Um, it's a bit more difficult to remove this. It takes a little bit of know-how, so it's kind of there. Yet it needs to, people need to have know-how in order to own a Kirby. That's how you can tell if they're qualified to own one. So that's a meh. That's, that's a push. So we'll call that nada. Easy-ish to disassemble. You have to remove that little thing in order to take it apart, which is a con. Because that's difficult to take apart. Now, with this one, it can take any kind of bag. Oh yeah, I changed it to the newer style. I changed it to a newer style twist connector instead of the old style, so it's got a better seal. And because you can modify it like that, it goes backwards slightly. Okay. Transmission category. These two G5s are going to get a similar rating, but that one has a softer brush roll. That's interchangeable, so we'll call it a push. Now... Easy to remove bag, easy to disassemble, easy to disassemble that boy, on when it comes to general purpose use. Now, neutral and drive pedal. Um, they all are the same. Has a transmission, so it's heavier, but it does have increased performance with a slightly faster motor than these two. Not as fast as the Century is in Avalia 2, though. And it does have a semi-easy-to-replace headlight. For that reason, it will go backwards slightly, but not behind that. Easy-to-replace cord, yes. Not as easy-to-replace as that one, so it might get a con there. It does have that part, which makes it a pain in the butt. So, next, on the chopping block for this machinery. That one, it does have a good clicky switch. But this one, they wear out fast. So, this one's just as bad in that category, yet it, it, it is easier to push than that thing, it's easier to adjust, and if you know how to use your Kirby, it gets that rating. I keep thinking further ahead is better. This Kirby's le legitimately almost the same, but it's got that brush in it, so it goes there. Now, wait, yeah, further ahead is worse. This bad boy has pretty much the exact same thing. Higher flow mTOR. Um, same, easier to change brush roll and belt. These seals on all of these ones, too, aren't the greatest, because the seals around here wear. Now, with these older two... That's a little O-ring sealing this head up against the body. So, with that con um, noted, they do have some rating. But, since it's so easy to replace, we'll call it a push. This one has a higher flow mTOR, and this one someone modified to have longer cord, meaning it's perfect for my mother's business, so I cart it over there every so often. Yet, neutral and drive pedal fell out. Now that is still push, because it happened to me and probably only me. So, it'll go, it'll go slightly ahead for quality loss. So... Because it's like that, that means it just does that. Because it can't turn the motor. So I've got to kick it with my foot. Pretty much turning it in neutral. So it goes ahead slightly. So it goes ahead slightly. Now, right there. We'll put it in line with that one. Because that one's got the soft brush. Now, my new Centria. Which I got all of like an hour ago. No, I got it like maybe six or seven hours ago. Now, or I would put it. It is better than the Avalier 2 
in my opinion, because it's got a more comfortable handle. And the person who made this Kirby specifically must have been having a good day. Because on the, the it's it runs faster than the Avalier 2. It runs way speedier. So that means that it gets pulled, and with that faster motor, higher cleaning power, though it rips up carpeting, but you can replace the brush roll, so we'll call it a push. Goes right here. Now, in terms of Avalier 2, hair performance, higher airflow mTOR, and both of these two, similar core design. These do have several improvements, which I will list in a few minutes when I'm done rating. So this one goes pretty far back. Oh, uh, that's the neighbor's dog, not mine. So, yes, that one goes there. But since this one's worse, it goes ahead further. But it's not too much worse. Now, this one. It has higher airflow than the guy on the end there. So, it has higher airflow because, A, it doesn't have as many 90 degree bends. But it does have a dial that you need to move down. These two switches are kind of difficult to push. So, what's the con there? That dial is not very nifty. Because you can't adjust it with your foot like a Kirby or the old... Hoovers. So, with that said, goes roughly there. Now, this guy, no brush roll whatsoever, but it's good at what it's meant for. But it's not very convenient either. Excuse me, but but because of that, there. Now. Now that we have all of them rated, this one being the worst, um, and so on and so forth, I honestly don't want to list it out because my voice is already tired. Next! So, let's list the pros of each individual one and the variations between the Sanitaire and this one and the Hoover first. This one's bad. More convenient, easier to clean. And since it's a rubber bag, it does gain smell, but it's easy enough to just put a tablet or put in a Febreze bag. Now, the brush rolls on these ones are loose. They aren't as tight as they are on the Sanitaire. For that reason, meh. Now, there isn't many improvements to list. Now, with the new plastic ones between this one, it's just, this one's just good. Way better than those ones. Next. This guy compared to this guy. Improvements made. More hidden light, meaning children can't kill themselves with it. Now. This one. I've gone to easily replaceable bags. They both have easy to change belts, yet. That one does have more convenient knobs. Now, between these two. This one's got a faster motor. And a higher airflow mTOR because it's less of a, less like this and more smooth. So, yeah. If you were to watch Practical Engineering's video, you would understand why having a sharp edge versus a smooth edge, um, the smooth edge has better performance. Now, improvements. Um... Well head and light and it looks smoother. Now neutral and drive pedal neutral and drive, you get the idea. It's it runs smoother. It, it just does. But it do, it it jitters because of that, but if you're ver if you're good enough at taking care of Kirby's. Okay. Now let's go focus mode. Now Focus mode time. Engaging in the second, whatever the frick. I don't care. So, man, sorry, my legs get tired fast because I've got tendonitis, and I end up going too fast for my.
independence to catch up. Um, but I worked my butt off anyway. So, we'll do this guy versus this guy. Okay, no, we'll do, say, one of the G5s versus a Century of Slash Avalier 2. Okay, listing is starting. Now, first thing that's changed, round belt, belt lifter, so that when you flip it, it doesn't look ugly. Like that. It just looks like the Kirby logo's the wrong way. But it's but the headlight isn't dumb. Now, next LED lights. They're similar ease to replace. Now, you do have to do a bit more disassembly. And uh what's his name? Kirby Enthusiast. He did a video. Yet it was convoluted and unnecessary with some of the things. He said you had to take this off and you had to take the transmission out. Honestly, just... Jit, do You don't need to take the transmission out. You just need to take the top cover off and undo that little wiry thing. Now, I'm getting off the topic. This thing, um, it curves downwards so you don't get the gap between there that looks ugly. Right there is a good example. Now, next clicky downy thingy. It's got a sticker, so that means you lose less when you replace it. Changed mTOR for higher airflow. Changed bag connector for more convenience. Changed top thing so you don't feel sad when you lose the Micron Magic logo. Because it won't have one in the first place. Improved neutral and drive pedals. They, both, they still are color-coded, yet they are stuck together better. Or so I'm told. Um, more plastic transmission parts, meaning it costs less to replace, because they go bad no matter what. Easier to carry. It's less boxy. It's more conforming to your hand. This one doesn't really have that convenience. Now, a stiffer brush roll, better performance. Shut the hell up, vacuum facts. I don't care what you're going to say. Um, next thing, it's got a... Thinner bag, yet again, cheaper to replace because you're stuck you, you're stuck using the more expensive inner bags, yet you can fill those up more without getting a bad smell. With the between these ones and those ones, less right here to be damaged. Evidence on this G6, look at all the spots. Um so next changed gear ratio. Meaning that the transmission is, you know, less tough. It's less intense on the motor. Because, like, when you pull one of these older Kirby's back, you can hear the motor go... Vroom. Sometimes, if you tug it hard enough. Now, the newer ones... I'm not sure about the older ones, but the newer ones do have a... One sec. They do have a little cone thing in there. I'm not sure about the older ones. Now, different cover here so that your magnet won't get all dirty. Um, the new, the Avalier 2 is the only model that has a fuse for if the fan chips, so you can just, so it doesn't mess up the motor and, you know, mess up the whatever it doesn't mess up the armature now it has the newer kirby's have this for storage so they aren't basically the thing now yeah they're the BPI has switched sides, so the brush rolls can be more uniform. <sighs> but I'm getting tired. But as far as I can tell, I think that, that's close to it. That is a lot of changes, though. Oh, yeah, more uniform cords. The old cords, they have that stupid thing on them that make it so it's it's weird looking. So, yeah, so far so good. That's as far as I can remember currently. 
I do not there is more. So I just got done eating an Oreo. So he, as far as I can tell, that's all for today's video. See me on out. Bye.